record. Welcome back, Last Wanderers. This is Robert here, and we just started Legion, and I'm standing here next to my girl Zana as uh, after how long? 12 hours, 25 minutes, and 17 seconds. I actually reached maps. I have the first map here in my inventory. I haven't run maps. Uh, with this character yet and i'm just gonna pop that in while i'm gonna tell telling you what uh, my plans for legion are and what this diary is about so basically uh since this is the melee patch i actually sort of kind of have to play melee so this is what i'm trying to do here this is a um berserker which um, tries one of the new skills because Nothing better than to start a leap with a skill that nobody has ever tried before. Uh, it's basically the one thing that you shouldn't do. <laughs> League starts should always be with skills that are very safe, very tested. But I told myself, eh, whatever. Let's just try to have some fun. And uh, since I've never played a Berserker, let's just go with that. And then try the new Blood and Sand skills, because this Blood and Sand stuff seems kind of fun and uh, yeah it is definitely not the best build for uh, legion as you will see in just a second because uh, you only have three sandstorms active at any point in time and the dots de they take a while to take the mobs out that being said you can still reach quite a bit of these guys and uh, free a few of them before things go ham. And also, for the very first time after returning from hardcore back to softcore, this is my first Act 10 leveling where I haven't died once. And that's that's really weird. That, that really shows how well um, GGG managed to rebalance melee at least for the leveling process as i know for maps uh, that things are a bit more deadly but um, when it comes to leveling um, you actually even with the berserker that focuses mostly on damage uh, you get a lot you get enough defenses that uh, you can survive and with the leech that the berserker provides um, this actually makes you survive encounters that as a spellcaster would have died many fold. I'm not even using Fortify yet because my gear is so crappy. Um, which is probably what I should go into next. So I'm gonna play this a little bit like just trying to wing it. Uh, so I do have a path of building. It is uh, linked in the description below. And my question to you guys would be how to improve this really weird wonky build and to show you where it's currently at. So I did originally went to blood magic straight away, but then I discovered that uh, blood and sand, the thing that lets you choose between uh, the sand blade storm form and the blood uh, sandstorm form actually it does reserve 10% mana so I actually don't know where it is right now yeah there it is so 10% mana reserve which means if you do this with um, blood magic you always have 10% life reserved and that's kind of crappy so I just went with uh, normal life version instead and I do have blood and sand herald of purity and somewhere is also pride the new aura that uh, grants uh, more physical damage the longer enemies are in the radius of uh, my auras and i'm trying to get as much area of effect as it's reasonable so i do have amplify from the templar although this is like pretty damn long travel node just to pick up this i'm not sure if this is really worth it otherwise i'm having the aoe cluster here i'm having the two-handed cluster here and i'm just making my way into blade master which also grants melee range and yeah right now i'm specializing or i'm trying to go for two-handed swords since they have a good trade-off between attack speed which is really important for uh bladestorm and uh damage 
They are not the best crit weapons, so as Berserker, you want to go crit, sort of, so which is also why I have a diamond ring and I have a diamond flask here and I have a bunch of investment into crit on the tree. Uh, but even with that, I'm right now, uh, without any buffs, I'm sitting at just 40% crit chance, which goes up uh, once I'm fighting stuff. I did find a five link and uh, rolled it kind of meh, whatever. Uh, and I'm using Bladestorm with it right now with Maim and Melee uh, Physical. And then Power Charge and Crit and Increase Critical Strikes. I wish I had a green link here, but I threw in already like 50 fusings, uh, no, 50 chromes at it. And I don't want to spend more chromes. I just wait until I get a different five link to drop. Uh, and then I would use uh, Close Combat, which is like an insane... Um, damage multiplier and also speed multiplier for your movement skills uh, of which I'm using Leap Slam and oh boy Leap Slam is like oh it's so nice to use now it's it feels so great especially if I have uh, like a little bit of uh, blitz stacks up the attack speed that I'm getting from blitz from the berserker ascendancy makes makes Leap Slam just Leap Slang yeah, it makes Sleep Slam just so fast and snappy. It's really enjoyable. That and the fact that it's instant and that you can actually, you can run your Leap Slam and you continue to run. This, this alone made the melee rework worth it. And then, yeah, I have Power Charge and Crit here, but again, I wouldn't necessarily need it because in my Leap Slam, I'm also using Curse on Hit with Assassin's Mark. The fourth link should actually be Fortify, but I didn't manage to color the boots yet, yet which are crappy anyway. I need 10% more move speed. The rest of the gear, you can just check out. It's really, really garbage. The only thing that's kind of nice is the sword, uh, which has 120% IPD on it and a bunch of attack speed and also accuracy rating. So that, that's kind of great. And yeah, as for the playstyle, so and, and for the leveling, I did level with Perforate, which I honestly felt the best. Originally, my plan with this character was to go Lacerate, and Lacerate in the early game feel, felt really clunky. And Perforate, since it's a AoE skill that goes into all directions for leveling, is actually the best. Once I got Bla Bladestorm, uh, I tried to continue to level with Bladestorm, but it also doesn't really feel that nice until you get uh, at least a Falling, and you need some AoE, either from a two-handed weapon, ooh, Crit Shrine, give me that, uh, either from a two-handed weapon or uh, from the tree, and once you have some AoE and some attack speed, uh, Bladestorm starts to feel really nice. The great thing about Bladestorm is the fact that uh, you have single target as well as AoE if you're using Blood and Sand because you can pretty comfortably switch between those two. And to show you what the boss fight looks like, uh, you can just go to the dude here. Uh, wait, I do have the crit shrine. That's a bit that's a bit cheating. And I don't want to cheese that. Wait, let me actually just cancel this. Okay. Yeah. That's what your typical boss fight looks like. I was actually even... Uh, <laughs> I was petrified there. So, obviously I'm cheesing bosses with uh, Val Double Strike, which I found in a very early Val area. Right now it's unlinked. I guess if I get more links, I can uh, use this a little bit more efficiently as well. Dish more damage out. Blood Rage for Frenzy Charge Generation, Assassin's Mark for Power Charge Generation. I did level with Poacher's Mark, which felt really nice, especially since early on uh, I had a lot of mana problems with this guy which is also why I eventually specced into Revelry. I'm not sure if I need to keep this until the end game. I'm, I'm gonna try it out. Uh, fact is that uh, Bladestorm, especially if you have ridiculously fast attack speed uh, and you're not getting mana back from, from your hits, your mana is just drained super, super fast. And yeah, so basically you need some sort of mana sustain, which was like, kind of was hoping to get away with this by going to, into blood magic and just leeching everything but that wasn't working and yeah so basic playstyle is just you pop your 
uh, actually there's a lot of buttons to press. So you pop your, um, what's it called, Blood Rage. Then before you engage the pack, you maybe Rallying Cry because it gets you more damage and stuff. Then you press your flask, your diamond flask, so that you have that up, jump into the pack because Leap Slam provides Assassin's Mark, and then you basically Bladestorm once. If this is a crit, this will kill the pack, and then you just move on to the next pack. And if there's a boss, uh, what I usually do is uh, put the Ancestral Protector down, because this gives me a bunch of attack speed, switch into Bloodstance, Blood stands three times and then just run. And this is amazing. The fact that uh, Sandstorm uh, moves a little bit means you can just move to a pack, Sandstorm, and it will take care of the pack and you can move on. It's it's almost like a dot build, uh, except that it isn't a dot build because the Sandstorm actually does hit. Uh, let me actually try to find another pack where we can demonstrate this. Eight monsters remaining. Okay, this is going to be difficult. Uh, but you have to believe me. So uh, these sandstorms, they are ticking damage. And if your initial sandstorm crits, they will also crit. And I believe they will also leech life to you. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I know that they will reflect damage back to you, which I realized uh, in a reflect vile side area, which I very quickly left. <laughs> So, and that, that's really cool because this means you can sandstorm, run, and this is leeching. So this is almost like a, like a dot playstyle that leeches life back to you, which is something that just wasn't there in PoE before, which is kind of nice. Um, I just started maps, so I'm just going to continue until I die and then try to change something about the character concept. Uh, I'm, I'm trying not to buy anything, so I'm playing this in Trade League because I want to play with my friends if they're online. Uh, but this is going to be a pseudo SSF uh, playthrough, which means I am not, I'm not trying to buy items from other players, and I'm also not trying to, uh, to sell items for currency. So I want to like grind all those fusings, which will probably mean I will not have a six link this league, but <laughs> let's see. Maybe if at some point if I'm like too frustrated and I'm like 2,000 fusings in, I will probably trade, but until then I'm trying to keep it uh, SSFE. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about this concept. Does it make sense? Would you change something about it? Also, what is uh, what are your opinions about the Legion start? What are your experiences with melee? Let me know in the comment description comment description, comment section, and I will talk to you very soon with an update to this diary. My name is Robert, and I hope to see you in game. Bye-bye.